Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back to another video and another reaction. And today we return to Team Neighborhood and this time we're going to be reacting to Episode 3, Pool Fools. And uh, guys, you guys know that I have already reacted to Episodes 1 and 2. And you guys know that I always do a full breakdown after reacting to the video. So expect the video to maybe be one hour long or even more. Episode 2 took uh, 100, 140 minutes to complete. And uh... Yeah, we basically break down every single frame of this series. So if you guys could already give a like and maybe can we get to 5 likes, that would be amazing. Guys, don't forget to give a like to The Great Dictator and also to Batman1138 and for their amazing work. And also subscribe, share the video, share the channel, leave a comment, join the Discord to make new suggestions. And don't forget that today... 18 p.m. Brazil time. I'm gonna be on Twitch trying to play some games to celebrate a thousand subscribers. You guys are amazing. And also, as a second gift, on Monday I'm gonna be releasing my second ever 15 AI video. The first one was Scout Doesn't Like a Brazilian Reacts. And this one's gonna be about the Mercs trying to open a Minecraft server. So if you guys could show up in both occasions, it would be amazing. Even if you could just show in one, that would be really cool. So thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And beyond all of that, I think we're ready. Don't forget to have fun, okay? That's the most important thing. Okay? Let's go. The... <laughs> the official intro for this is so cool. I'll try not to just say the, the, the things that I have said on the previous videos, but... The level of detail on the intro is just so great. The blue team meets the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> Oh, coach. If I don't... Uh, I think coach was a... Uh, American football coach. But uh, not a bas basketball. But it fits for him to be there. Also, I hate so much when you're on G mod and then you just start seeing arrows all around you. Crap, we can't do this episode without the real models. I know, I know, I know. Right. Plan B. Also, the animations that they do for these little skits, these little, uh, how can I say, title screens, they are so cool. Right now in Brazil, it's the opposite of hot. Uh, it's very, very cold. We have uh, we have reached a very low temperatures during the night. I think like 12 Celsius. Low 100s are, are tough. At least I got a free day off. I'm not a fan of that channel. Oh, heavy. Everyone just wants to take a bath and... Yeah, remember when I said on episode 1 that that would be not the last time we would see Naked Soldier? Yeah, it happened. I think that uh, usually would be the reaction of um, a lot of people in a situation like this. A strange object. Uh, let's poke it. Let's poke it. Honestly, having a pool in your backyard is one of the best things in the world in hot days. Yeah, I think that's his little revenge after the episode 1. They already destroyed his car. 
But we'll, you guys basically, yeah, the pool is gonna be a gun, right? Until the end of this episode, you guys know it. Hang on, <laughs> hang on, I'm here. Relax, I got you. Oh, Francis. <laughs> My DDs. What the hell are you doing, Francis? Shit. Oh, it's so good to see the dynamic of Francis and Bill. Usually, it's just this dynamic of uh, the short-tempered old man and the idiot young man. That's very cool. I really wonder what cheese have the blue team used to be so powerful like that. Or usually that's just a general sensation. Now I've seen it. Stuck on the team. Don't worry. This will still work. And of course you go pockets. At least we gotta give it to Engineer, he is very proactive to try to make things, like, uh, to help the team. The only problem with that is that usually they turn into giant robots. Yeah, it's got to a sniper. I, I said scout, I almost said sni spy, and until I finally see a sniper. I'm not well. <laughs> I don't know how panic I would be if we would be out of cold water in the hot hottest of the days. Ah! Everyone freaks out. The creativity for this scenes is just so amazing. It's incredible. Uh, the Great Dictator and also Batman 1138, they are just so creative. Just sandwiches, healing kids and bonks. Oh. Oh, no. ah! Yeah, they are expensive. Very expensive. Sorry, the man. Everyone just suddenly stops and starts to look. I think that my favorite one must be the one with just a little head popping up. And I don't think you, if you guys ever did watch, but uh, the normal height of any Gmod uh, NPC compared to the TF2 Mercs, it's absurdly different. Like the whole body's structure and also the height. Also, I never had a, one of these little carts, like uh, remotely control carts, but those must be so amazing to have, especially if you get a camera. Sorry, Pyro. <laughs> Deploy a pull up here. It's your job now, NG. Too bad the blue team. Too bad the blue team did not have the experiences on the first episode to know that it's not a good idea to give engineer things to do around the house.
ready then. time I think is where they start to use SFM. This is so cool. Especially seeing the whole difference in level of the texture. Heavy just takes the entire screen for himself. It actually is amazing. I think there are some people that have like these little barcues inside the pool. That must be so cool to be able to do. Nice. You don't mess with Pyro. This is kind of funny to see... I forgot about that. I thought he was going to lay on his belly. But uh, it's so fun to see some so the, the the bodies of the mercs like without their shirts because we forget that they are actually highly trained mercenaries and most of them have a uh, very good physics. Run. Run. Yeah, heavy. Uh, uh, no. Uh, medic being in a German already knows not to mess with the Soviet Russian. No man. A very highly educated and also one researcher. Little sweat drop. I can't take it anymore. Also, these these models are so good. Oh, Sasha, time to do some work. Trespass will be shot, or I will be prostitutes, Red Soldier. <laughs> if only it was that easy, heavy. That's the Overwatch turret. Also, I love this little animation where they get them all together just to kind of move and kind of simulate a walk. That's so cool and also gives so much humor to the scene. Charge me. Ooh. Roger that! Alright, men. Blue Tactics 725, Thunder Mountain, Form Victor! Operation Mighty Duck. Uh, if, why did you brought a shovel, soldier? You could destroy them all by staying far away, come on. Let me reposition on the chair. Sorry if the green screen was strained for a second. Heavy weapons guy, Curtis League United. Ah! We require your assistance. Both the motherland and fatherland are fighting again. What did Germany do this time? So, do you wish to come? <laughs> yes! <laughs> 
Soldier almost had a mental breakdown seeing that. <laughs> they should have built the Uber first. Oh yeah, I remember we did. I remember that now. Darn. <laughs> heavy, heavy, that's us. <laughs> nice one, Pyro. I wonder how Pyro can wear so many masks on top of each other. Is really considering it. <laughs> yes. Oh, spy, the traitor. Don't do it, Angie. Don't do it. It's so cool to be able to rewatch this entire thing because uh, when the when the scene comes up, I immediately remember what's going to happen. But it's so cool to. Think that I did not remember it before until I saw it. You know? There, there goes demo. Now that is a cool breeze on a hot day. You are tying my patience. Sorry, man. Come on, Sniper Australian, you should not be scared of such trivial creatures. Your country is full of those. Yeah, Scout right now doesn't have anything better to do. But that would be an amazing way to just expand their ammo. Yeah, oh, they have the fire extinguisher ready for medic. Kind of fun to see Pyro be ready to... Uh, is Pyro ready to put out a fire? When he usually is the Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac. Get to pool. <laughs> oh, the ideas.
The medic shorts are amazing. Just full of little medicine icons. That's so cool. <laughs> Look at Medic's face, just getting red and <laughs> redder and redder. You forgot to add air holes. Ah, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running hotter than hell's basement. Damn. Oh, engineer is losing his mind. There goes the water. Domain just got to a point where it doesn't matter, where he doesn't care. Close, no close, just he just wants a bath, even though if it is a hot one. Bonus decks. OMG oh, hell. <laughs> Meanwhile in an indisclosed location Heavy's in Wolfenstein. No, Heavy Weapons guy is one of the most badass characters in Team Fortress 2. This is how Heavy mains feel when they get on a kill streak without a medic. This is how they feel. You ask why, why and how I know that? Because the, I am a Heavy main and I didn't feel exactly like that. Better than a hot day, Heavy. Better than a hot day. <laughs> Jesus, Medic. You need to get a hold of yourself. Ooh! Pyro Pancake Color. Pancake Pyro. Forget it, I gotta watch my blood pressure. I believe that Soldier is the oldest of them all. Also, Rip, uh, Rip Rick May. They just remember it. They just remember it. We got contact. The fuck? <laughs> perfect. <laughs> about to happen Blink it. Come on, move it up. <laughs> Stars and stripes beats hammer and sickle look it up <laughs> Come on Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's just so good to see the Tiff to Mercs having fun all together you know, especially because usually animations between the TF2 Mercs and also TF2 Universe, usually they go all around them just cursing at each other and creating problems. It's nice to see a change for, for instance. Oh no. The heavy is a spy! Let's 
No, I love this skit. You are outgunned. We are willing to negotiate. Katan balloons. <laughs> oh, they're so dead. Plus, the woman has one of the best screams out of the entire group. Sorry, engineer. I need some doggone help. Now that the sun went down, I think he had some time to cool off and get his mindset straight. Uh. <laughs> and of course, there are things on fire. Get out of my freaking pool! <laughs> And now, as always guys, we have reached the end of the first part of the video and now the big part comes out. So, if you did not, please leave, consider leaving a like already, both for me and for the original video. Subscribe, share the channel, share the video, leave a comment, join the Discord. Because right now we're going to do a breakdown of the entire video. And uh, this might take a while, so yeah, if you need to go to the bathroom, that's the time. If that's what you came here for, welcome. If you were already here from the start, uh, you still, you're most welcome to stay. And, yeah, this is gonna be a very long video since I usually try to break down everything uh, skit by skit, frame by frame. Oh, sorry. And see every single easter egg that I, tr that I can find. So let me just uh, readjust myself on the chair as I just did and have a sip. And, uh, yeah, we start now. Today, the blue... Team Neighborhood Episode 3, guest starring the Harlem Globetrotters. I know that the Harlem Globetrotters, they, they're they not like a team of bas basketball that I am very much into. I never watched a, a, like basket, like NBA, official NBA sports, but I know that they were very famous and even more, they got their own TV show at at some point, even though the, even more, but like, they, they, they're right there and made it. I think that's from the official uh, cartoon that they had. And also there is coach right there. And on the bottom, written by Batman Woman Trait and Great Dictator. Nice. And of course coach would be there. Just uh, an homage to Left 4 Dead 2 and also just symbolize that coach might be their coach. Team meets the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> we start seeing uh, okay the team we got Scout Soldier, Demo Man, uh, Heavy and Engineer. Engineer is on his ranch to relax. So and the Harlem Glo Globetrotters are on uh, error. If you guys don't know, that's a very common thing to happen on Gmod if you're missing textures. It's just gonna be an entire error. We got Coach on the left side benches, we got the right side benches probably being for the blue team, and we got and we got Scout's mom and also Red Spy recording the whole thing. So maybe on this universe is already like it's stated or already know very well known that uh, Red Spy is a blue scout's son or Vice versa, spies are the scouts' dads. And on the background, you got you chew, you suck, then pow. That's a very funny logo just because of the whole double meaning of the entire thing. And uh, the blue team is getting its ass kicked, like the coach is gonna say, we are kicking ass. On the background, we got Ethan's man store and also open 24 7. Harlan Gold Tour 98, blue team uh, 3. I think I missed something in the background, but uh, Magic is counting the score. We are building on, on the right side, we got uh, Christian Sink. I cannot read that very well. But yeah, Magic Face is all there, getting their butt kicked. Jesus, imagine him animating all of these. Oh, he's a. Uh, it's a skate ramp in the background. Well, it makes sense they are in a public park, most likely. Crap, we can't do this episode and of course we got Grey Dictator and also Batman discussing what to do. 
let's have a look at this entire animation thing, this entire segment of these kits. Uh, we got, of course, uh, heavy medic, soldier, demo, engineer, sniper, scout, uh, spy, and also pyro on the pool. And it's kind of funny to see that the ones doing the little fight game is uh, a soldier and demo, also a, a duo that we saw doing the fight, but the soldiers on top this time, and also engineer sniper. I wonder if that was the original plan until they chose to change it to heavy and medic, just because it had a better already established phrase of... Uh, 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 stripes and stars beat. Sorry, stars and stripes beats. Uh, ha uh, hammer and sickle. Look it up, which is a default uh, phrase for soldier. On the left background, we got the TF2 mercs have uh, blue heavies wearing a hammer and a sickle, symbolizing the, what was going to happen to his character later. And all the the blue team mercs on the left just getting ready and annoyed and angry and wanting to get to the pool. We got on the bottom middle, we got uh, the fools to complete the fools pools and title for the episode made with toys. On the right side, we got spy. Uh, more closer and right behind the pool semblance that he would uh, betray the group to stay in the pool and also engineer on the, on the far right just doing his own thing I like that they try to mimic the the face that they do on uh, Gmod like engineer on the background has like this this face you know one that is very common to put on his character on this series continuing oh yeah Pyro is also using some toys things that he actually uses on the video and actually that fits very well with his almost childish uh, personality on this universe. Written by Batman 138 and Great Dictator. And now we see the heavy and also medic on t uh, doing the little duo to fight. We also see a shark on Pyro's hand just symbolizing the that he later there would be an actual shark and maybe the pranks that he would have uh, with Scout. And everyone's just ready to fight. And, oh, Sniper is probably drinking uh, Gerardi. For what it seems, might might be lemonade, but I don't trust it. The man is holding a duck, and uh, yeah, Blue Spy is right on the middle, as I said, betraying everyone and uh, just enjoying the pool while everyone fights. We got the ice cream truck. Uh, we got Francis. That is one of the official left left for the vehicles that you can escape on on the game. And meanwhile, while he steals the vehicle, Bill chases after him, and in the far background we see Blue Scout running to get his ice cream hat. We got some acts done on the sidewalk by Alice and also Zoe, which is a very common uh, couple to be shipped across the Left 4 Dead uh, uh, community. And, uh, Moving on, we're going to have the radio segment. First of all, I'm going to break down the TF2 mercs, and then I'm going to go back and try to break down the radio. Okay. And also, it's quite possible to fry an egg on the sidewalk. I think uh, there's a video on the internet showing, like, a place between buildings that they were made, like, in a way which the sun reflects straight down into the street. And, uh, yeah, it's actually possible to fry uh, an egg on the sidewalk. Let's see. Drinks, $25. Cold. Warm, hot lemonade, $25. Oh, Nick, you and your scams. Also, some moonshine on the bottom left and some uh, lemonades all around and some lemons. And also Mountain Dew on the right, maybe? Oh, the breast became fried chicken. Let's see if I did not miss nothing on this frame right here. No, I don't think I missed anything. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. It's a quarter past the hour as we smelter on in this... Uh, we got a uh, can uh, bread, best of sliced, uh, s uh, best of best, the best thing since sliced. We got some canned pineapple, some bucket of fried chicken, some cookies on the top. We got the channel about the fans. Uh, so dramatic and spy just uh, having a moment to try to cool off watching that channel. We got the boys heavy sniper engineer and also Pyro having some drinks. I did not recognize the one on that sniper has, but uh, the one Pyro has is Duff, the official uh, beer from The Simpsons. It's gonna be a little hard for me to identify the drinks if I cannot get closer. Also, I can on the ground. Saves and waves the, on the background, symbolizing that their neighbor is building a pool, so that's the. Uh, the water, probably, that he's getting. 
No one gets on fire because, yeah, he's mostly alcohol on the insides. If you guys know the beers that they were drinking that I could not hit fire, please tell them in the comments. Pyro is so sweaty that, uh, yeah. Oh, Spy, you should not be looking down, man. You should not be looking down. I don't know, I think it's even worse that he doesn't seem impressed. And as I said before, we could have we could see Scout going to going to get his ice cream and uh, yeah, that's the result. I don't like uh, that the the the, the I mean, a lot of ice creams, I prefer vanilla ice cream and but usually I prefer uh, grape popsicles. <laughs> Just spoken. Mm. I do not recognize like if those workers are from a specific game, but I think that this character right here is from a specific game, and but I do not recognize it. Please tell me in the comments. Every single thing that I am not able to recognize, just go ahead and tell me what it is, okay? But now we're gonna go back to this segment to try to hear the radio and to break down everything that is being said there. And we're only one minute on the video. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. past the hour as we swelter on in this ongoing heat wave. Temperatures idling in the low 100s. The low 100s, there's a big heat wave on town. The rest of the day, so stay cool. All outdoor functions in the Tri-City area have been canceled. All the, the neighboring functions under the Tri-City area. Tri-City, I believe, is a reference to Phoenix and Ferb, like the Tri-City, tri, the three state area, Tri-City area. I do not know if there's a common thing to say in English, but I believe there's a reference to Phoenix and Ferb. This includes the Metro Cop Bills. Metro Cop Fields was cancelled. Manco Relativities, that's why they are there. And also this little, yeah, yeah, they, they do right here. Might be like a little celebration without uh, doing so much movement just to be happy that they do not have to work today. Local Prop Hunt, yeah. Local prop hunt was also cancelled. Oh, postponed. Wait, 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 what? Oh, I could not hear the ending, damn it. Jim Martin Death Run is also postponed. And also, we had an event move to next Friday. Okay. Okay, we can get now to the point where we were. I don't know, but it seems that these background f dogs are from GTA. I need to lower my volume. Oh, the civilian. It's so sad that the civilian cannot catch a break. Every Everything nice that he has, like the, the his neighbors ruined it. He had the car destroyed, he had the pool destroyed. Invaded. And also we see that Francis is on, on a rampage in three different uh, ice cream car cars. It must be so sad to see all the ice cream that you would get just melting. Melting. That's such a waste of good ice cream. Also, we see moments of the game, as I said in the beginning. And uh, the creativity of the symb to symbolize the hacks is just amazing. I think that's uh, why so many people use it, because you feel so much powerful. And also to annoy people. And again, uh, we got the Star Trek reference. Wait, did he say this is the wrong engineer? Let's see here. Wait. Now I've seen him. Stop, 
Yeah. They say it's the wrong engineer, engineer. And the other voice says, don't worry, it's gonna work. I wonder if that's uh, like, they were sub they were going to make like, the blue team get the vision, once again, since the uh, first episode was the, the like, uh, I think that uh, the medic that got the vision, then we had the blue soldier getting the vision, and then we got the uh, red engineer. I wonder if that uh, on the original plan they were going to maybe do so like, uh, keeping the the blue team making the pull, but if that was intended, I don't know, but maybe it was a problem that they had in production that the maybe they had some miscommunication and they started to make the scenes with the red team on one on the other side of the story. So they adapted it, I don't know, might be. Uh, probably that it was intended, but who knows. And of course they start poking him. They still drinking some refreshments. <laughs> this bread, let's see this. Conagree's Super Pool Relaxation System. Diving board, the H2O Ducky Letter Pool. And also, Conagree's, I think that's his real name. I don't remember his first name, but Congress I believe is his last name from Engineer. <laughs> cool Easter egg. Also, duck uh, symbolizing the bonus ducks. And uh, yeah, we can see the in everyone's head that he's gonna be building a giant, a giant pool that's gonna be becoming a giant robot who's gonna try to kill them all. Also, nice addition to the bonus duck dressed up as engineer. I have a bonus duck on my TF2 in inventory, and uh, you can uh, kind of dress them up as the Mercs. Very nice addition. And everyone has their clothes from the from the from the episode one on that situation. I still would like to know how you get out of cold water. Also, very nice to see that uh, no matter what happens, Sniper keeps his hat on. His hat, hat on. Panic. Still the teleport in the background, showing that we're still connected. If it only were like that, engineer, if it only worked like that. Look, we got bunk, we got sandwiches, and a little bit later we'll have some med kits. Yeah, we got um, medical cupcakes. The tiny details is what makes this the series so good. Also, Spy dressing up as uh, Ice Cube. I don't know. I do not know if that's something that will actually be done by the Spy, but that's something that makes sense for the whole humor of the scene. We got Alice on the Mac tools, supporting tomorrow's te technician. And also, yeah, it makes sense since Alice was a mechanic on his backstory on the Left 4 Dead games. And also, GM hardware issue for 2017, latest hardware, tools, updates, scripts, and also paraphernalia. Also, it's so funny to think that some time ago, a lot of like companies and also... Uh, magazines would just put babies on the on the cover just to attract people to buy them. I don't know why. Maybe it works. Air conditioners, fuck you, we know it's a hot day. Yeah, the price and demand, man. Sorry. But that's a very pricey air conditioner. All of them are. <laughs> oh, I just love this in so much where they all stop. Sniper subs heavy. Uh, demo man comes from the bottom. Uh, Pyro comes from the left. Medic comes from the left. His cousin in the middle. Soldiers on the ceiling. Spies in the front. Engineers in the back. Yeah, I think I got everyone. Engineer, red engineer is still sad. Wait, was he given like the finger? Oh no, he's just uh, uh, supporting his head because yeah, engineer is sad. The garage opens, they got the vehicles from the, the official like TF2 game, you can find them like in the background. 
We also have a card that I believe is used on GTA 3, where there's like a type of mission where you need to use those little cards to kill gang members. Uh, Pyro is using the Wrangler, I believe, uh, which is a weapon you can use to control sentries and also to put shields around them to, for them to take less damage, but on this time they are using to control the little car that has a camera. Uh, everyone's there, uh, Scout is doing his usual taunt for the pistol, uh, Soldier is just doing this normal laughing taunt with, which you need to buy. And everyone's building a pool. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Look at, look at the woman's face. Look at the woman's face. <laughs> oh, demo. <laughs> and they, of course, they are destroyed by GM, probably G mods, uh, waterworks. Also, they have a poster on the on the back of about uh, the TF2 mercs being devils. I don't know. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I woke up a little bit early today. Now look, fellas. <laughs> Everyone's mad at the engineer for not having that idea first. Also, Impressive Engineers ripped. I think that's from all carrying all those dispensers and teleporters and sentries around. Oh, another yeah. So yeah, that was something uh, I never noticed that. But look, there's a lola, giant lola bunny here. So that was, that was something that they're gonna they, they were going to kind of touch uh, since from the beginning. Impressive. I never noticed that. Also, toxic waste, uh, targets, a uh, heavy target, some Jirati in the shape of a, like a pyramid, some Nutella, some bottles, crumpy, and a mousse. And also, we got uh, the GTA San Andreas version of the mousses, because we got to uh, hear Sweet and also Ryder, the car. So, yeah, mousses have a gang on this, on this game server. Heck no. But I'm still impressed with the amount of Lola Bunny reference. I never caught them all. Never, I never imagined that this one had one. We see you have uh, with uh, with uh, I forget the name of the weapon, but uh, that's an actual weapon you can use that uh, increases the damage you take, but it makes you attack faster, but uh, with small with less damage, but it makes you faster. I do not know where that bomb is from. It's probably from a game. Please tell me in the comments. Heavy has a couple of chains. Spy. I do not know what he has in his hands. Sadly, let's. A tiny chainsaw, which maybe is from Dead Rising. A sniper has like a, a kitchen tool with a lot of metal around it. Pyro has like a, a hammer with a propane canister in the edge. And the scout has a rainbow dash naughty body pillow. Which uh, he... Chuk, chuk, he reloads it, he cocks it, I believe. I believe that's the word. An engineer right, sees that he needs to change his mind quickly. I would have just grabbed the Nutella and get out of there, NG. Start a new life, you have Nutella. Also, I believe that this in the background is the the Lake of Cisneys. I do not remember what's the correct name in English, but I think it's like the Lake of Cisneys. Lago dos Cisneys in Portuguese. In Portuguese. We got everyone jumping, of course, Medic jumps uh, with a bunch of birds and Archimedes following him. Uh, Spy is just relaxing by the side of a soldier, later in drawing Vivl of Hans. They have a lot of toys in the background. They have the radio that is also a scout's uh, cosmetic. They have the Rancher Relaxo. They have a pyro with some cosmetics and also a floaty, a duck floaty. We got a demo man passed out drunk with a few scrumpies, <laughs> like maybe symbolizing careful drunken Scottish cyclops uh, adrift. And then also a little engineer and also medic doing some grilling while Heavy is on top of a, a giant steak, which is actually one of the consumables that he can eat on the game. The buffalo's beef, I believe. I believe beef. And also Sniper's just chilling. Getting some bacon. Mm. 
That face is so creepy for a sniper, just uh, like a default smile is so creepy to see his smiling. We got a beach ball that is also, that you usually seem on the Trade Plaza. With Trade Plaza, if you guys know, it's like a map that a lot of trades use on the TF2 community servers to just be able to trade items. And of course, Spy drew the Vivla France with the, uh, the, with the protective cream, the solar cream. And as we see in the background some continuity, we got Sniper's Van. Uh, blue sniper's van is the one that was on the tree. We got sniper's little tent, and we got uh, all the equipment to make the moonshine that we saw in the first episode. That is that belongs to probably blue demo, uh, blue demo, red demo man. <laughs> also, I need to break down everyone's shorts after some time when I see them better. But uh, for scout, uh, he has some, I think, baseball, some stars. I think that's a baseball uh, sh uh, short. Heavy, of course, has a Soviet uh, Russian short with a hammer sickle and a star. They have a tiny war submarine, of course. And when you realize it's too late, Heavy. Also, Medic has a medical short full of uh, healing icons and also syringes. And they cannot see uh, engineers very well, so it's a little hard to say. But you guys know you're dead. If I see a man as large as heavy coming at me like that, I would uh, piss myself. Wait, uh, did the engineer... Yeah, I think that's the... I don't remember what uh, was in the name of the console, but I used to have that one. Like this tree... Uh, edges, uh, three edge uh, controller. I used to have one of those. I would used to play a lot of Sonic on that. In the meantime, everyone's just waiting. Wait, uh, oh, snipers! Oh, sniper, you should not be reading those spell magazines, man. Come on, those are dangerous. I was eating some chicken. Of course, Scott, Scott wants to try to steal some. That's Probably not a good idea, that's basically poking a bear. And also, the one is just uh, being sophisticated, researching some wines, describing them. Uh, I think that's called en enotourism to those that uh, try to travel to go to wineries and places that produce wine to test, to smell, and to drink wine. Let's see some vine wood, vine wood, the red, I cannot hear it, but uh, damn, the woman has some very good stuff. And of course, Scout gets beaten. The birds of earth time playing in the background. I am not breaking down every single music because they are uh they are on this episode you can see in the background that uh that they are uh divided. By each segment they have the the musics right there. So I'm not gonna be dividing all of those. And of course as we see in the intro skit we can see engineers on his little tractor. The little sweat just showing medic losing his senti. Wait, wait, was that closet? Also, you're not realizing in the background that behind Medic, there's like this picture, of, picture of uh, I do not know who, but they have like the a car, and I think this picture is done on Gmod. I do not know where it's from. There's a skeleton in the closet. Some hats, a lot of hats in the closet. I'm gonna reposition myself real quick. Whew. And uh, oh, we're not even halfway yet. Everyone get there's. Their signature symbols. Serge gets his war hat, and of course uh, we've seen Heavy's room before. We got the gloves on the right. We got Sasha on the crib. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just goes at it. Oh, I love this bowling effect where everyone just falls. That's such a cool thing to to do. Trespass will be shot, survivals will be prostitute. Also, the amount of detail in uh, Heavy's uh, torso just showing that uh, he has so many scars is so cool. Also, like, we got a little uh, Overwatch turret 
We got a level 3 trail with a lot of mini sentry symbolizing birds, so that's nice. Those stories in the in the top, I think they are either reskins that people did in the in the community in the community of the TF2, or is they are from Overwatch? I do not know, but yeah, they are very packed. Good to see that each and every one of them like has this different pose of defeat. Look, everyone has basically different pose, especially Sniper where he just puts his hands on his pockets. That's such a cool addition to show their personalities. Charge me. Ooh. Roger that. So cool also to right, see man. having like this immovable force just 180 degrees like he is made of pure stone. And uh, let's hear Soldier's plan. Let's hear Roger that. Roger that. All right, man. All right, man. Blue Tactics, Blue Tactics 725, 725 Thunder Mountain. Mountain. For Victor, Operation, Operation Mighty, Mighty Duck. Duck. Mighty Duck probably a reference to bonus ducks. Also, this little thing that he does with the medgun is just to make it faster. And also, what is that face medic? This little jet movement is just to make the overcharge go, go faster. So, usually you change between targets to get more healing and just to do heal the necessary. Also, the man was using Pyro's animation. And also, Pibways is a, is a drink that uh, Engineer was drinking and while they were on the, on the sidewalk. Probably they left it there after he jumped on the ice cream. Damn, if that's it, that's a nice continuity. And everyone just 180 degrees with the head. <laughs> Look at Medic's face. And of course they got a bunch of pro probably slabs uh, just sitting on the tank uh, with their... Uh, I do not know the name of this kind of outfit, but that's uh, that's very uh, related to the image of thugs in Russian or usually little mafias. And of course that uh, the general is, the, is a bear. Good to see that they usually have like these different heavy op heavy operators in different parts of the country, so they came to ask for this heavy's help. And also, I wonder if they're actually gonna maybe tell in future episodes what was this fight between Motherland and Fatherland. And I believe not, be since the whole Ukrainian and uh, Russia problem right now. But it's good to see Heavy just putting his uh, Soviet hat and also getting the hammer and sickle and going because it's gonna be colder instead of being hot. How to be cool. And now autobiography and manual by Frozen. Oh Frozen, I I didn't see that before. Background a lot of drinks, a, a table for game night, and the background a painting that I do not know what it is on the left. <laughs> and of course Spice knows this time. I will skip this whole thing because there's not much to see. There's a pyro poster from the Carnival Horrors. But there's not much to see in this scene. Let's, uh, yeah, there's not much to see. Let's just keep this whole thing. Soldier and Heavy, Heavy says, I feel good, kiss me. And uh, Red Sword says, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, Heavy. Also, Scout's floating on a giant hot dog, which is, I think, also a cosmetic that he can wear as a backpack. Uh, the one has now three bottles on his side, just showing that he's still adrift, but he still has Crampy. And everyone's in different positions. Sniper is on a watch duty, Engineer is on his ransom relaxo. And uh, right now Pyro is gonna have his little revenge, that's a straight up Jaws reference. This whole segment, even the song is a Jaws reference. <laughs> Here it comes. And Scout has a Scooby-Doo moment. He got you good, this scout. He got you good. 
And of course, Spy dresses up as a heavy. And I don't know, usually if uh, if Spy was a true Spy main, he would dress up as a scout. But I believe that no one suspects the heavy if, uh, if they're not in a fighting ground. No one suspects the heavy with, uh, with a sandwich out, no one suspects it. Demo secret. I do not. I do not know if this spelling is just like a misspell and intention, or if that's actually like the how it would be written the pronunciation of secret in a demo man's accent. I don't know. I don't know. My demo secret. Secret. I don't know. What's taking that Frenchie so long? I bet he's gone AWOL. For the first time, a soldier is a. Uh, Soldiers, uh, dubs, they were actually true. Spy went AWOL. Now that is a cool breed on hot days. Also, funny to see that uh, engineer just thinks that dying for explosion actually refreshes him for, for the, from the hot day. And I think he says, Sorry, ma'am. I don't know if he says ma'am or man. Sorry. I think it's man, but uh, yeah, with that smug face, uh, yeah. But you guys are asking too much of engineer. He's working. He's trying. Also, some nice ex extract beers. We got a uh, Hale's beer and also red shed shred. Oh, I cannot see that very well. But those are official beers that you can download on the community tabs, I believe, to decorate your ambience. Or they're actually on the. On the game, but I don't don't remember where. Also, yeah, that's a real shark scout. Uh, let's see if we can have a good look. Uh, oh, the bottom left, we got the drink that Spy was drinking, and also some uh, hot dogs. Let's see if we can see the actual model for Spy's. Uh... Oh, I can see he has like a, a shirt that is basically the background of Australia. It has a cactus, the sunset. That's a very creative one. I have to say, that's a very good one. Yeah, Heavy is just having his doubts about the second Heavy on the pool. But it's kind of strange how they, these work so good. Scout is just uh, losing some time. Also impressive how many baseball balls he has. Pyro has the fire steam sure at the ready. Wait, wait. Oh, Frost Alert. Okay, I think it was for Nerf that it was in there. Maybe like to deny, like nerf the f the nerf the feelings or to I don't know. No man's losing his mind, preferring to take hot showers. Also, I think that this is just such a like it's a very charis 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 characteristic thing for soldiers to do even though I don't think that uh, this soldier is like an exact replica to soldiers original character in the official TF2 SFMs but I think it's a very spot-on representation if he was to talk more to be more active to be a little bit more cartoonable you know if he was more of a cartoon like in this series uh, trying to present him as a sitcom character i think that uh, he, he this is not an exact, exact soldier but this is a very good variant of soldier one that we accept like oh yeah this is totally i think that soldier would do <laughs> troj <laughs> pulls toys also, why is this street closed in the background? Oh, maybe because they had an accident, uh, maybe in the beginning of the episode. Oof. Oh. 
I only propose to freeze cadavers. Let's no, they don't have subtitles. Let me try to hear that one more time. I only propose to freeze cadavers. I early proposed three cadavers. I cannot understand because of the accent. If you understood, please tell me in the comments. That's a reference to 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 the fresh cadavers that they just received. You forgot to add air holes. Also, Scout's face is amazing. Ah, sorry, just I losing to Maddox's reaction. I'm running hotter than hell's basement. Yeah, he he's losing. Junior is losing his mind. Also, yeah, uh, engineer, you should pick a different location. This place has a lot of things you should not build here, but he does anyway. <laughs> I'm I'm weak against fart uh, sound effects. Bonus decks. I wish that bonus decks events would return someday. They were. It was fun to fun to like in a casual game just uh, see a duck and trying to get it, because they might many people I think they didn't like, but uh, I like them. I used to like having to collect them after killing someone on the game. Wait, wait, there was a thing there. Menko ready to use quick drying concrete dries in hour minimal residue. Uh, pose. Rosan high strength cement mix, just add water. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah I forgot about that. Uh, snipers, blue snipers uh, stays on the tree, so engineer just uh, took down his entire home. Also, three hands on the panel. Look, left hand, right hand, uh, third hand. I do not know, and I do not want to know where that hand comes from, engineer. In the beginning, I did not understand how could engineer fall into this lake the first time I watched it, but after I seen the effects that the sun had on his head, I think that we can understand a little bit better now. Oh, but this is so cool. This is probably a straight reference. We got a Nazi tank in the back, but we also are like a Wolfenstein soldier. This is so cool. I wonder if this is an actual move mission on Wolfenstein, maybe. Also, the card was I think is one of the cards that is available on Gmod to animate. Uh, sickle not gonna work. This is gonna work. This is more likely. And uh, this is like this is uh, maybe a little mistake, but I believe that this is the the red team's uh, fist of steel, not the blue team one. And use the parachute to get safely down. <laughs> Meta has to be put on hold. Yeah, sniper is going crazy. We can see on the back left some of the. Like when they went crazy, we got we can see some of the bottles that uh, and glass uh, glass cups that uh, that the was. I do not remember the correct name for it, but uh, yeah, guys, tell me in the comments the name of these types of glasses. Like you hold it like this, like usually used for toasts, and also some fried chicken on the ground, probably as a result as they them giving up on just doing nothing and trying to get to the pool. The man's on fire, most likely because of the whole alcohol system. And uh, watch my blood pressure. And once again, Soldier needs to watch his blood pressure because he's the oldest from the team. And once again, rip Rick May. Oh, uh, this World War II, the whole skit on Soldier's head is just so spot on. And the first time that I saw this, the fuck? this the fuck. I I I lost it. I just started screaming so loud. <laughs> I think it's cool to see that everyone when they heard uh, his little laugh, 
Oh, just to point out, uh, Pyro Flamethrower, Sniper's Rifle, and also some uh, other things on the ground. But it's so nice to see them actually kind of realizing they can notice that Soldier had a good idea. Or an idea. Also, I think that it was intended for like uh, Demoman and, and Soldier being together this whole time. And uh, Demoman has like uh, the call. Uh, oh, I think that's the colors of uh, Scotland. This choice of mixture of colors. I do not remember the the name, the usage of this combination. But it's like a a, a national and a, a proud thing to, to wear, to show that they are proud. I don't remember the name, but I remember a little bit of this story. But uh, Soldier and Demoman are best friends. So yeah, it's fi it's fitting for them to be together on this fight. <laughs> Against the the biggest God, ship on the entire TFT community, community. Oh, Medic and yeah. also Heavy, yeah. The biggest ship is tw versus the two best friends. Yeah, that's a fight that would happen. Red Spy shirt is a blue shirt. I did not know if it's like uh, the French, a French short. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't. And also, Soldier is like literally stars and stripes. Spy has a martini. And uh, that's where you you get yourself uh, spotted. Also, Soldier's had just like being uh, on this area and then coming up here. That's a uh, gold comedy. That's gold, uh, golden screenwriting right there. Golden screenwriting. But, uh... Yeah, that's what you get, and I really think that Spies is a French uh, short. Shorts. From the flag, the maybe? And Engineer has... What, a tiger shorts? Like, uh, I cannot uh, distinguish this type of pattern. I cannot uh, give it a name, sorry guys. But tell me in the comments. And we got the yellow shit. And Scout uh, coming with the shark. Everyone knows that something's about to happen. Uh, Scout has a, a Rainbow Dash. Uh, uh, Scout has a Rainbow Dash one. A Rainbow Dash shorts, pull shorts. Soldier has a American uh, flag shorts. Uh, Medic has the healing shirt shorts. Uh, the woman has the same thing but blue. Uh, the sniper has the same thing but uh, the, the blue background. And I really prefer the red sniper because of the whole sunset. Oh, yeah. We have you surrounded, at least from also, medic equipped the uh, Chris Craig. Uh, let's just break down the weapons. Scout has Scatter Gun. Uh, uh, Pyro has the uh, Scorch. I don't remember the entire name in English. Uh, Soldier, normal rocket launcher. Medic, the Chris Craig. No man, the normal stick launcher. And also, Sniper, the trusty SMG. Surrounded, at least from this side. He says you are outnumbered, and I would just like to put out, like, I point out, like a, a mistake on the editing. I believe that engineers has like this sad or like defeated phase, while everyone like has this angered and uh, more uh, ready to fight phase. And uh, when the the blue team says you are outgunned, and in the response to say you are outnumbered, you are outgunned, everyone's faces change to be more. <laughs> more scared except for engineer and spy spy knowing that yeah they're going to win this fight while engineer no has this smiling face i think that was an editing mistake that he did but that's just so good you are outnumbered you are outgunned we're willing to negotiate now of course everyone's going to run away with the exception for uh, Scout and also uh, Spy, let's try to rewatch and see if Scout actually gets out. Because since Scout is inside the the shark, he cannot see the bomb coming. So yeah, Scout and Blue Spy their hit. And I think it's actually kind of a fitting thing to happen to Blue Spy since he betrayed his team. He, instead of helping them to get to the pool, he just uh, betray them he put his kite and stayed there leaving them to suffer on the sun alone yeah he deserved that but uh, blue spy is not entirely bad he just had these more reasons to think about more about himself but he saved blue and engineer on the last episode he saved them from being killed by the heavy the red heavy in that case uh. 
and everything's on fire, the deck's on fire. Also, you could see that they divided the pool in their little segments that they could agree, yeah, let's just get the pool. Uh, also, the spies in the blue spies in a very bad condition. Also, really cool that the floaties used to separate the pool is purple, showing the combination of blue and red just coming to terms. Everyone's kind of bummed, but uh, yeah, it's the only pool left. And the civilian just get out of my freaking pool. And uh, guys, this is the end of this. Of course, we're gonna see the credits until I ask a few things, but if you can stay till the end, that will be amazing. The credits, uh, let's see. We got at the first moment some lot of dollars, crumpies, just the whole map use it. So we got to see a better look of uh, scouts' uh, sh uh, baseball shorts. We got to see the radio, we got to see uh, engineers uh, also shorts. I do not know what is this pattern, like a, a pan panther pattern? I do not know. But uh, this whole camera movement is just so amazing to see, show everything. Also, it's so creative. Oh, Kusa models by Maxi. Maxi, your models were very good. Nice, congrats. Super Vario 64 Soldier. Sea Cat as Medic. Legendary Scout as Scout. Legendary Scout is a very present Scout as well as Sea Cat. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm sorry about that. Other voice actors, Electric Star, Great Dictator, Batman, and Doctor. Great Dictator, Batman 1138, and also Dr. McMoon. And also a bonus duck floating in the background. A lot of music that is already stated here, so it's not a big of a reference. A sandwich falling in the background. Let's see if there's anything big. Yeah, yeah, there's something big to see in the ending. A scrumpy bottle. The heavy mask. Really, these, these kids are so good. I cannot wait for episode 5. Uh, but I also cannot think about how long it's gonna take to make episode 4. If episode 2 took uh, around 140 40 seconds, I believe. 120 seconds. And uh, this one's gonna take, uh, what, uh, over one hour or two, I believe. Yeah, I cannot imagine how long this is gonna take. Also, engineers see something like a drone. The engineer. I think that was something that we saw on the the last episode too, on the ending. Poor engineer. So guys, we have reached the end of episode three. Finally, it's a very long video to make. So guys, thanks so much for staying till the end. No matter at what point you showed, if you came this far, thanks so much for your support. Be sure to leave a like to the original video. Like on this video, let's reach 5 likes, subscribe to the channel, share the channel, share the video, maybe tell your friends about the channel. Join the Discord to make suggestions, that's uh, what really helps uh, to get suggestions, a very, very good place for me to just get everything organized. So thank you so much for showing up, I hope you guys are good, don't forget in a few hours we're gonna have the live stream on Twitch, there will be an announcement on the Discord as well on the community tabs, and on Monday the special 15 AI video. Thank you so much for a ton of subscribers, you guys are amazing, I hope to see you guys next time, and I hope to see you guys on these special events, okay? I'll see you then. Bye! Thank you.